So greetings from Pennsylvania once again. We're back on the Horseshoe Trail. Kind of right here where we left off in the last video, right by the Pretzel Hut along 501. I do have the map with me, but I'm gonna show that to you a little bit later when we get away from this traffic noise. Yeah, so there is the Pretzel Hut. In that last episode, we had done a Cannon Hill up that when we came down along the road here. Had a little bit of confusion there, but this is the parking lot I showed you, so I need to head across to the Pretzel Hut. I believe I see a yellow blaze over there. Got some chickens. Yeah, they have a petting zoo here. But this is the horseshoe trail. I just need to get through the gate. Please keep gate closed. There we go. Don't let anybody out. They have all kinds of goats and stuff in here. Well, I gotta make sure it's closed. All right, gate is closed. Trail goes up through here. Yeah, I think I filmed here before with you guys. Hey, look at all the chickens. There's a dove there. There's our yellow blaze of the trail. Kind of cool. Um, oh yeah, there's some goats up there. All right. Kind of a cool spot. All the animals. All right, but we're here for the uh, trail today. Don't always find chickens on the trail. This log up here might be a good spot to show you the map. All right, yeah, so here we go. So in the last episode we did, uh, we parked here on Seglock Road, did Cannon Hill. Came down this way, because there's a bit of a reroute here. Same with right here. Um, this part of the trail is actually on the other side of the highway. So right here's where I parked the Pretzel Hut. Um, this is the trail right now where the dotted line comes up. And we're gonna head up to Eagle Rock down to 322, so this section right here. But like I said, there's been a reroute here. The Pretzel Hut parking area is the is the trail now, this dotted line. Things have changed. I've done this section in the past before, up to Eagle Rock, this way. But I don't think I've ever done it this way. All right, so this part should be new. So we'll start making our way up Eagle Rock. Yeah, it's a Wednesday, this is October 11th. Just got home, I teach in the mornings. I did a, well, I have chemistry and biology on Wednesday mornings, but. My afternoons are free, so it's a beautiful day. Why not get in a hike in on the horseshoe trail? Still hear those roosters crowing back there. I love those sounds. But it's that time of year now where I'm gonna take every opportunity I can to just get out and enjoy the outdoors. Beautiful weather beautiful colors that are coming. When we get up to Eagle Rock, there is a bit of an overlook up there. Not a super majestic or scenic overlook, but we'll, we'll take a smaller one now. It has been a couple years since I've been up there, so we'll see how it's changed. I think the, the trees keep getting taller there, and, Obscuring more and more of the overlook. It is a very windy trail up towards the top. It's kind of like that. They're doing those switchbacks. Makes it a little bit easier to get up. They're going straight up here the trail. Like once you get up here, it turns. It kind of goes up, swings around, goes up again. Just makes it a little bit easier, like I said. I don't mind them. I'd rather do this and just go like straight up. I think you do it for the bikes too. You can ride bike on this trail.
but it is beautiful out here today. But as I always say, just pay attention to the blaze marks. There's a yellow blaze up there because there's a, I'm on this trail right here, but it's a very distinct, we're headed that way, but there's a very distinct trail goes that way. I get a feeling that this used to be the horseshoe trail because further down, I can't come across another intersection like this because this, this section trail feels newer. See how it's not as obvious as this one is, if that makes any sense. So I feel like this one is a reroute where they made a lot more of those switchbacks and stuff. Just a guess. Anyway, we'll keep on going. I mean, all trails are kind of like that. Even more well-known or famous trails like the Appalachian Trail, every year it goes, under, parts of it undergo reroutes. From year to year, it's never the same length. You know, it's roughly 2,000 miles, but from year to year, it changes, you know, as they reroute certain sections due to different reasons. We know different with trails like this either. Looks like we got some signs here. We're used to. What does this say? Huh. That's problematic. Interesting. Yeah, this is the Boy Scout Reservation property. Um, yeah. Well, that's a shame. I kind of figured I would encounter that because I remember when I hiked up Eagle Rock years ago from the other side, there's a similar, it was closed certain times of the year. I thought that was until November because I think Eagle Rock is right up there. But uh, yeah. So we'll just have to cut this one short, folks. Um, yeah, I know, I, you know, I could probably just keep going, but like I always say, you know, we post these videos online, stuff like that for everyone to see. Plus, it's about respecting the rules. But uh, I, I did complete a significant section going back this way, so we'll have to do, uh, finish this section on another time. I'll probably park over at 322 and make my way up to Eagle Rock and down just this way a little bit to here, this spot here. So I think come, so what today, today's 11th, October 11th. So I think that sign said um, November 16th and November 30th, I can come I can come up this way again. So that's what we'll have to do, I think. I mean, I'll probably keep doing sections of the Horseshoe Trail. Going that way, we'll just have to, at some point, just come back and finish this section or that, that section. That's just the way it's gonna have to be. But hey, you know what, I think, well, you know, this, this sec at least I won't have to do this section down 2501. But maybe we'll go down and visit some of the animal, am, some of the animals when we get back down to the bottom here. Because we had to cut this part short. Yeah, because I can almost kind of see the overlook up there. I think it is just right there. But anyway, I think I can even see the rock itself. Ugh. But anyway, um, we shall obey the rules. Out of respect for the property owners and just to keep ourselves out of trouble too. It looks like someone tore this down though. This is pretty old. Maybe they don't care anymore, but I'm just coming up with excuses. Yeah, so October 5th to November 16th. We're not allowed. It's the same with these other dates. If you're wondering why, it's because of hunting season. That's why. So I'll have to wait till then. I have a window of opportunity there. All right. All right. Let's pull ourselves away. But like I said, it wasn't completely unexpected about that. I, I had seen signs like, when I was here years ago, like I saw signs like that on the other end. I was okay the day, that time I was out here, but yeah, well. It's not the end of the world, folks. <laughs> we'll just come back and finish it another time. Let's go down and check out the animals. Visit some goats and things. Chickens and I think we have pigs down there too. Let's, uh, let's end this video on a happy note like that. All right, but of course, as I make my way down my mind, I keep thinking about that. You know, that sign was pretty old, half torn down, so maybe it's from last year and maybe it doesn't apply anymore. But I remember there being signs there years ago. So, but anyway, just keep play it safe. You know, like I said, keep myself out of trouble. But those goats are waiting.
plus we got to do this kind of a, it's a beautiful day out so I'm not no regrets either in that regards and plus it might be a good thing that was cut short today too I'm kind of pushing things time wise I have I got to teach tomorrow too and I have things to do I have homework to grade for tomorrow yet and lessons to look over so maybe I should be getting home anyway but I thought I'd you know, try to sneak a hike in this afternoon. And by the way, I'm not on the horseshoe trail anymore. I think I missed going down. I think I missed. I think I'm on that other trail I showed earlier. That I think was the old horseshoe trail. But it's still taking me down the same place. Yeah, but here is the horseshoe trail going that way. So I missed. Took a wrong turn on the way down, but it takes you back here anyway. Yeah. So. Yeah, so the horseshoe trail goes up that way, but I, ca I came down. I mean, we went, we went up that way, but I came down this way. But it's all good. And I hear roosters and kids, so we're almost there. And here we are. Got some peacocks. The white one, that's cool, and then the other one up there. All the chickens, let's go see the goats. Oh wow. These two are definitely pregnant. Did you do that? Is that your fault? <laughs> but yeah, they are they are ready to pop. They get you a a view of the back here. See how <laughs> she is. There's multiple babies in there. There's a turkey. It's alright buddy, you can just relax. Pose for a shot there. Oh, little baby chicken. Yes, I think there's pigs up here. There used to be at least. Huh. Maybe not right at the moment. Yes, yeah, so the last time I was here there was more here. There were more goats here, definitely. More and there were pigs. I'm not sure what happened to the pigs. Maybe they had to get rid of them. Yeah, three goats down there. But all those other little enclosures were empty, at least for now. But hey, we got to see some goats anyway. So I, I think I'll end this video here. Like I said, we had to cut it a little bit short, but that's okay, because I should I do need to get home and grade homework. It's such a beautiful day that I was like, I'm gonna go out and hike no matter what, even though I have stuff to do, but I gotta get home. So do and be responsible and do what I gotta do. <laughs> Alright. Like so we'll get I'll probably continue on with the horseshoe trail past that point up there and then like i said about those after november 16th we'll come back and finish that section in another video at least that's the plan all right as always folks thanks for coming along and hopefully we'll see you on the next one